In this video, I'd like to talk about solving similar triangles. Or in other words, with these example problems, we're going to look at finding missing side lengths when we know two triangles are similar to each other. And remember that with similar triangles, that they have the same shape, but they are usually different sizes. Or in other words, if we look at the angle measures in these two triangles, they have three sets of equal angles. And the main fact that we'll use to solve this problem is that similar triangles also have proportional side lengths. Or in other words, one of these triangles is a scaled version of the other triangle. So this smaller triangle, we essentially take each of these side lengths and divide them all by the same number. Or looking at it from the other way, we start with this smaller triangle and each of these side lengths are all multiplied by the same number to get the bigger triangle. And what we wanna do in this problem is essentially figure out what we are multiplying by to go from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle. Or we could look at it the other way as well. We can start with the bigger one and figure out what we're dividing by to go back to the smaller triangle. But the main point is that the side lengths are proportional. So let me make just a bit of room here. If we set up ratios, looking at corresponding sides, we can figure out what that proportionality constant is. So let's start with the largest side in each of these triangles. And we can take 35 and compare it to 28. We're just comparing the largest side in each of these triangles. And when we simplify this fraction, notice they're each divisible by seven. So we get five fourths, which is 1.25. We figure out the proportionality constant. So we figured out that to go from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle, we are just multiplying by 1.25. And that will be true for all of the corresponding sides to go from n, which is the middle length side, to 30, which is the middle length side on the bigger triangle, we will again multiply by 1.25. And even though we're not concerned about finding the side, we could find it if we want, we would take 12 and multiply by 1.25. So let's do that. We can say we have n, and we're going to multiply it by 1.25 and that will give us 30. And to solve for 30, let's divide each side by 1.25. So we have 30 divided by 1.25. Or if you want, you could rewrite this as a fraction. We have 30 divided by 5 fourths, and we're dividing by a fraction, which is the same as multiplying by this fraction's reciprocal, which is 4 over 5. And 30 divided by 5 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24 which means that our n value for this problem is simply 24. And if we want, again, we can figure out this small side on the bigger triangle, since we're just taking 12 and multiplying by 1.25, and 12 times 1.25 would give us 15. So we can find all of the missing side lengths once we figure out that proportionality constant. And there is another approach to this that's very similar to this, but it's essentially setting up these ratios for the side lengths that we're concerned with. So we could start with this same ratio here, this 35 over 28. And since we know the proportionality is the same for each of the corresponding sides, we could say this is equal to the ratio of the middle sides. So we take the bigger one and divide it by the smaller triangle. And from here, we just have an equation we can solve for n. We could multiply each side by n and each side by 28, which means we would have 35n is equal to, let me just make a little more room, 28 multiplied by 30. And from here, it's just simplifying. We divide by 
35. And we end up with the same numbers that we got below. So it would be 28 times 30 over 35. And we would find that n is 24 once everything is simplified. Since notice, we have 28 over 35, which is 4 fifths, and 4 fifths times 30 is 24. So there are two different approaches. You can either set up this equation where you are looking at the proportionality of the sides, the ratios of the corresponding sides, or you can figure out what that proportionality constant is that you're multiplying by to go from the smaller triangle to the bigger one. Or... Like I mentioned earlier, you could also go the other direction. You can start with the bigger triangle and ask, what are you dividing by to go back to the smaller triangle? 